have four and on top we got four i'm going to deselect from the bottom as you learn um, how to do it alt button and uh, deselect like so from the selection not anymore in one of our viewport the next thing i'm going to extrude by so it's fine going to say okay so this is the top cover of our cpu and i'm fine now then I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to select the, those four polygons from the bottom and just those four polygons and then they need the top cover like so the next thing what I'm going to do I'm just going to go ahead and scroll it down going to click deselect, click on settings and I'm going to deselect by six click enter not as you can see I don't have enough um, polygons I want to create those uh, pins like an old school CPUs like P4 and uh, Core to Duo old ones because the new one like Core i7 and newer Core to Duo they having this and socket building those pins and CPU doesn't have them anymore but on the old schoolers like P4 Pentium 4 and uh, in all AMD 64 used to be the pins on the CPU and that's what I'm trying to create and maybe I'm gonna say apply 12 and not enough um, apply 12 again okay that's fine okay you can see how many I have so many now I'm gonna click OK next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and click inset again but this time I don't wanna inset this inside like create the extra uh, polygons inside. I want to say by polygon. Inset in every single polygon. And I'm going to say by one. Click enter. And it's going to inset inside of those polygons. And maybe by two. Let me see. Or maybe by three. Yeah, by three. I'm going to say OK. So like little squares. I'm going to extrude. By 10 is fine. You can see those legs. And that's fine. If now I'm going to just go ahead and render it by F9. I have my CPU with the extruded legs, those pins. And now it's time to texture it and it's ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a material. I'm going to say CPU cover. CPU cover. And I'm going to go standard and um, arc design. And select from the list maybe chrome. Okay, then I'm going to go to polygons. And I'm going to select the cover on one of my viewports. I'm going to first going to go polygon. Make sure it's selected and select the top cover. I'm going to apply that CPU cover to it. Nice. And then next segment I'm going to say CPU. CPU um, pins. Okay, gonna close standard. It's the next material. Uh, arc and design. And uh, select some brush metal. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and select those pins. In one of my viewports, like so, on that front is nice. They're gonna be selected. You're always gonna double check by they're selected in red means selected, click on that material, and click assign material to a selection. Okay, click F9. Let's see what we have. Yeah, we're getting there. And um, okay. Uh, the next thing what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring to black that the the whole 
foundation of the CPU. So I'm going to go to my polygons again and just select that part. And maybe bring to memory PCB or to that PCB that we have, the other PCB. So I'm going to go ahead and click CPU. And um, go to standard. And uh, diffuse. Click on that diffuse box. Like so. Go to bitmap. And select that circuit. Okay. And um, let me see. We didn't select the whole thing yet. We want to select that thing on top as well. Those polygons. So what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come back. And... Uh, Make sure that everything is selected. It's always good to check on your perspective. As you can see, I al almost got a mistake. And make sure that legs are not selected. And they're not. And now I'm going to bring M, Material Editor, and uh, this one called the CPU. Okay. And I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to assign to material. Okay, let's go to editable poly. So we're going to select just the whole our model and click and um, F9. Nice. Now I'm just going to adjust the lights or reposition the CPU. Make sure you get ed editable poly, like so. And uh, not on polygons, nothing is selected but the whole model. Click and uh, maybe position, move to and position away from the light. Or maybe not so much away, but to the side, like so. And uh, let me go ahead and bring the memory. Just because the black background, that's why the metal doesn't reflect, as you already lo learn. And hide all. I'm gonna bring the memory as well, and uh, you can go ahead and bring some more light to bring some details to our CPU. Let me go ahead and bring to put it on the on something. So I'm gonna create the other box, little box. And I'm going to move it, make sure that we're going to put the CPU on that box, like so. I'm going to render it. The more uh, objects you're going to bring to your scene, the better textures and materials will look like. And it's look like too much light now. And so bright. So we need to get rid of some light and put our diffuser far away. Not so close. Like so. And um, nice, nice. And the bring. I'm not going to give you a uh, lesson on the tutorial how to bring the light unfortunately so what I'm gonna do I'm just going to basic 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 and um, you just can just play with I'm gonna do so let me just zoom in and it's I'm about to conclude this video tutorial well uh, make sure this video tutorial will be split it into a uh, multiple parts and um, we can also put some texture on top of the cover of the CPU for sure it's it's like no problem wow I'm just moving my microphone and yeah but right now it's reflected perfectly but I'm, I'm about to conclude this video tutorial please make sure to watch all the parts I'm um, just play with the lights when you're done and make your own scene look so realistically bring some some more light, change the camera position, and play with that. Put some texture on, on your table, 
and it's going to bring better reflection and um, better material uh, to your memory and CPU and put it like in a room, build a room or something. It's going to be awesome or, or put some uh, image um, on the background in a big box. But anyways, my name is Alexander Moroz. Um, I was your instructor for this video on subdividing uh, tutorial uh, polygons, subdividing tutorial 101, materials 101 and lighting 101 in 3D, 3ds Max Studio. Thank you so much for watching. This video tutorial will be available over at mrzmedia.com for download, uh, moroseacademy.com for download, or over the YouTube into multiple parts. Please go ahead and watch the all multiple parts. Make sure to rank every or thumbs up every single part so more people can see this. And uh, subscribe if you like to see what you see and if you like to see more of what you saw. Thank you so much. God bless me. God bless United States. God bless you. Good luck with your creation. Bye-bye now.